Hey, welcome to the Daddy Curbs Farm and welcome to another episode of beekeeping. In the last video, we did a couple of splits. There's the little split over here and then we did a horizontal hive split. How are they doing? I don't know because the weather's been pretty bad for beekeeping lately, wet and cold. But we're going to get in today and hopefully uh, establish how they're doing. We're, we're going to establish how they're doing. I just hope they're doing well. Today we are burning old denim, cotton denim, in the smoker. Somebody recommended that at one point, and I happen to have an old pair of jeans that was no good anymore, so I'm trying it out. So far so good, we'll see how it lasts. First up here is the little split here in this nuke box. Just by the traffic coming and going on the front, it's not looking too good. Not looking good at all. Mm. Nope. This hive is a failure. The bees didn't stick around. All the all the brood that we put in there didn't end up hatching. And now there's wax moths uh, crawling around in the in the brood. All right, so that is one failure. One total failure. Hopefully the horizontal hive is a little better. I'll be taking all of those frames back to the house and scraping them off. They're dark comb anyway. Uh, scrape them off, get whatever wax I can out of them, and discard the rest. Before I check to see how the horizontal hive split is doing, I'm going to go ahead and get into uh, this hive here just to do a quick inspection, and also this shorter hive here. These are the two vertical Langstroth hives. It is about 75 degrees today. It's a little breezy. Uh, like I said, I've been waiting for some good weather. This looks like the only day uh, for the last uh, couple weeks that was pretty good, and this weekend's not looking too good, so I want to take advantage of today. Yeah, there's bees in there. Always checking that cover to make sure the queen's not up here on vacation. Of course, we do have the queen excluder, so theoretically she shouldn't be up here at all. We'll do a quick check of this top box just to see if they're how they're doing on bringing in resources, nectar and pollen. Actually the, the nectar would be up here. This is where they're going to be making honey. Okay, so far it looks like not a lot going on. All right, so they, they're not really doing a whole lot with this upper box. I may take it off. Um, I was hoping that things would be a little better with all the rain we had, but um, maybe just because it's been colder lately, they're just not, they're, they're not doing as much. That's the queen excluder.
They are bringing in pollen down in the bottom. I think they just had too much room on the top. I don't know if you can see it, but there is pollen that's coming in. I can't even see what you're seeing right now, but there's pollen coming in. I don't see much nectar, but I see plenty of pollen. Bees are looking good. There's plenty of them. Let's see if we can get into some. Yeah, they definitely are not doing a whole lot. In this box here, this is the one that I had put together uh, from that medium. And so there's there's deep and seven and five eighths mediums in here. And uh, they have not done a lot of drawing out of comb making new comb. They do have a little bit of comb here that's going the wrong direction, so I'm going to get them off of that and take that out of there. When I rebuilt this box with the deeps, I shouldn't have put that top box back on. It was just too much. They had too much work to do in this layer. <clears throat> Woo. That smoke's working. They have too much work to do in this layer to be bothered with that top box, so I definitely am going to take that off, give them a better chance. And I think that my positioning of the nuke, the new split with the old, was wrong. Um because I think most of the bees probably just came back to the parent hive and I lost them. I lost all the workers uh, in, the, in the split. Another opportunity to learn, another hard lesson. Okay. I'm gonna take, take this box off and look down in the bottom box to make sure that their brood and everything on bottom is looking good. I suspect that it is, but you know, sometimes you just wanna take a look. The bees in the bottom box look really nice. They're packed in tightly. So we're going to take a peek at these frames to see how that brood's doing, and then we'll get over and look at some of those other hives. We will not have to put the queen excluder back on. I'm not putting that top box back on. 
I'm going to leave it out here so the bees can find their way back in here, but I'm just going to put the top cover and the lid and be done with that one. Now we get to check this little guy here. It's a single deep. Oh, they look pretty good. Get some of this wax off the top here. They are bringing in some nectar a little bit on this one. Building some new comb there. They have some beautiful comb on the other side. Oh, there's a beetle in that one. There's my queen, right there. I do see eggs, I see my queen. The general, just looking from the top, this hive looks pretty good. I don't need to spend a lot of time digging into it. So, I'm not going to. I'm gonna put it back together and go check on the horizontal hives. I do want to note that down here on this end, it looks like they have plenty of room. They have plenty of open comb down here. So I'm not worried about them running out of space. We'll take a peek in the original horizontal hive and then we'll take a peek into the split. Looks like they're putting a little bit of wax. This was one of those empty comb, uh, empty frames, and they're putting a little bit of wax on there. That's good. heavy frame. Lots of brood on that one. I see pollen, larva. This looks like a very healthy frame of bees right here. Lots of good brood and pollen on the outside. A little bit of nectar. Not much, just uh, a little bit on the outside here. Let's see how this next one is doing here. Yeah, they're bringing in more, more 
pollen. They have a, a lot of pollen. They have a lot of pollen deposits there. You can see all that orange in there. Hopefully you can see that. They're building new comb on this side. Okay, good, very good. Let's go on down toward the entrance, or down toward the end get some of these girls off here. With all these little top covers, all the little boards, it seems like, you know, there would be less opportunity to hurt them, but I actually think it's kind of more, you have to be more careful more times taking these boards on and off. Bees are pretty well behaved today, even though it's slightly cool, or at least cool compared to how I normally do keep, which is in the 80s and 90s. Again, lots of lots of pollen. You can see some nectar in that one. Lots of dark orange pollen right now. Beautiful. Beautiful. This should be another fairly empty frame. gloves are not impermeable. Not, they're not sting proof, but I don't get stung very often through them. It has to be a pretty direct hit but right there. That's a good stinger. Normally once you get stung, there's that pheromone, the smell that they pass on as a warning. So you have more opportunity after the first sting because the bees are, are have a a heightened awareness of something bad going on. That's a lot of fresh comb right there. Got a little bit of a, I got one beetle in there, I can see that. Okay, I saw plenty of brood. I did not see a queen, but that's okay. I don't have to do that every time. I like to. I like to see queens every time, but I don't have to. I can smell that uh, that pheromone I was talking about. So this hive right now is a little bit agitated. They're not bad, but they're a little bit. frame that I took out put back in here I'd like to put it in right under this one here yeah I can smell that pheromone a lot right now so they're I'm surprised they're being as good as they are all right let's slide this back down and let me put a little smoke
trying to get these back in without squishing. I think for the most part I'm doing all right, but I know a few of them have probably gotten, gotten hurt. All right. pretty upset I I did not handle I don't think I handled that hive quite as uh, well as I should have or could have the bees get in the way some get squashed and when that happens the rest of them start to get riled up because they can smell that and yeah so now I get to go into the last hive if you guys can even hear me over the bees in the microphone the, the bees right now in the microphone. That's why you're hearing all those bees caught up in that furry microphone. The one thing I've been looking forward to is checking on the splits. Uh, the vertical split is uh, a failure. Probably mostly my fault, but uh, the horizontal split, hopefully it did a little better. We'll see. All right, checking out the horizontal hive split. Ooh, encouraging. There's a lot of bees. Like there has been a queen cup or a queen cell right there. I know you guys can probably barely hear me, but it looks like there has been several queen cells right here that were opened. So uh, that would tell me that that this split most likely is a success.
Got a few of those following me home. Hopefully I can talk to you without getting stung. Normally I feel really good about how beekeeping goes. Today I feel pretty good, but uh, the fact that I lost one nuke, again, mostly my fault, I'm sure. That doesn't make me feel too good. Um, when the bees come out somewhat aggressive or upset, that makes me just... Um, maybe, maybe like I was doing something wrong. It may have just been weather, but sometimes I feel like, you know, it's my everything's my fault. Uh, but overall, I feel pretty good about the beekeeping and... Um, the hives that I have, the two vertical Langstroths, the, the now two established um, horizontal hives. I look forward to getting a third horizontal hive later this year. You guys can follow along, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, whatever you do on YouTube, and uh, follow the journey. I got the camera set up here, Cat. This is Max. Overall, not upset about how the beekeeping journey here on the Daddy Kerbs farm is going. Uh, today was not one of the best days I've ever had, but I still feel really good about it. I love the fact that you're here with me. Uh, many of you share really good comments, suggestions, and tips in the comments below. I appreciate that every time. But I do love your tips. Continue putting those in the comments below. Thanks for being a very valuable member of the Daddy Kerbs Farm beekeeping community. It means a lot to me that you're here with me. I do believe that everyone has a story and every story counts. I believe your story counts because I believe you count. Thanks for being a part of my story through this video and letting me be a part of yours. I'll talk to you soon.